uh, lecture series from this is, these are my lecture series for the book CLRY C sharp. More of a this helps me more for a revision purpose, and I think it will be helpful for everybody else also. So we're starting with the first section that is CR, CLR basics. Uh, what this section deals with is you know what is CLR, what is the .NET framework, etc. So what is CLR? CLR, as the name suggests, is common language runtime. It is basically a runtime onto which your programs execute. So you write code which the CLR runs. Basically that's what it is. And then there is CLR and then there is the framework class library, right? So there is CLR and which which has with the framework class libraries to give you .NET. Okay? So .NET is nothing but the common language runtime and the framework class library. The framework class libraries are a bunch of libraries that Microsoft provides out of the box. They are, let's say, for console output, opening sockets, deleting files, etc. So, you know, and Microsoft keeps on adding to both the CLR, to both CLR as well as the framework class libraries. What is the core of CLR? The core of CLR is that every language Irrespective of the language, all languages get compiled to a common type system. Okay, so each language basically will produce a type which has methods, fields, events, and CLR doesn't care who, in which programming language this particular code was written, whether it was in C sharp or VB.NET. What it basically cares is that when these compilers compile, they compile into the IL or the intermediary language that is understood by the CLR. The CLR then reads these ILs and then executes it onto that particular host, the host meaning the machine. The base of the CLR, the common denominator of all these languages is the CLS, the common language system. So why is the CLS needed? Just take a very simple example. You know, C sharp, when you write C sharp code, there is difference between the casing. So a method name A, B, C is different than a method A, B, C, right? In C sharp, these are not the same. But when you talk of VB, they are the same. VB doesn't have any character casing. Hence, the common language system is the base of all such, is, is, the, is the minimal set that, okay, what is the minimal set that is required? So we spoke about CLS, so what happens? So basically CLR is everything. And the CLS is such common, you know, is, is the base, is the lowest common denominator of all such things. And what 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 basically happens is all these classes, all these are part of C sharp, VB.net, and you know you might have another compiler that let's say takes in small talk or Perl and then produces IL. So, you know, all, all of them will then be part of you know somehow. So let's say you, you write another compiler for Perl, right? So all of them will now be part of CLR. The basic idea, how does, how does the execution work? How does the execution work? Whenever you, let's say, in, in, let's talk in terms of C sharp. So when you run the C sharp compiler, what gets produced is a module or an assembly. We'll talk about how modules and assemblies are different. So what gets produced is a module. A module is, it's just like any other, uh, you know, 32-bit executable. It has a header, it has a CLR header, and it has a metadata, and it has the IL. So what basic, what that basically means is, so you know, let me just say, so let me raise this, and what so let, let's write down what are the four parts of a module. So it's the header, okay, it's the process 32. This is standard to any Windows file. It has the CLR header, so this is something that, you know, that CLR brings into the picture. CLR header. It has the metadata, so we'll talk about what the metadata means. And then it has the IL. So these are the four components of a particular module, right? So what is the IL? The IL is the actual code that you have written. It gets compiled to IL. Metadata contains all the metadata information for this IL. Example, what are the types it exposes, what are the methods, what are the properties, etc., etc. What that means is that once you have the metadata, it is contained in that particular module, so there is no other uh, type library external to this particular IL, right? So they're always in sync. These things are always in sync. 
The CLR header is something that, you know, that what's the version of the CLR that is required to run this particular IL, etc. And the process executable is just like, you know, any, it's, it's the, it's the well-known header, header for Windows files and you can find more about that in detail just by on looking up on the web. So what is happening, how does your, how is your, you know, how is your code getting compiled? Let's, let's talk about that, right? So I think we can erase this. <laughs> 